This is a Tokyo Bara 23 sneaker channel. Tokyo Bara 23 no sneaker challenge days. My niche absolutely no day. My niche meter because as I, I bring you content every single day. So make sure you check in every single day if you want to know about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. This is the channel for you every single day. Daily content, five or ten minutes. And today, what I'm bringing you is an Adidas release. It's the Adidas Night Jogger Crystal White and its brother, the Adidas Night Jogger Core Black Carbon. As I said in the introduction, today is all about the Adidas Night Joggers. There's two of them dropping real soon. One of them is the Crystal White and the other one is the Core Black Carbon, not to be mistaken with the Core Black, which dropped early in January and I did a review of that and I'll stick a link up above somewhere so you can head back there and have a look at that drop. And I do bring you drops every single day, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you stay in touch with sneaker news and daily sneaker reviews. This is the channel where you can get that daily sneaker content. Hit subscribe so you don't miss out. Now talking of not missing out, tomorrow we're going to be having a cracker of a sneaker. A couple of days ago I brought you the Gyakso Adidas, not Adidas, the Gyakso Nike Pegasus. Now let's see if I can remember the name of the sneaker because it was really really long. It was the Nike Pegasus. No, it's already gone. I've only got as far as Nike Pegasus. I think it was the Nike Pegasus 35 Gyakso Turbo where I brought you a review of two sneakers, the two different colorways coming for that Pegasus. And then tomorrow I'm gonna to bring you the third in that Gyakso line, which is actually the Vaporfly 4%. It's a cracking looking sneaker. Hit subscribe so you make sure you get that review tomorrow and don't miss out. Now there's some new things in the channel right now and there's some old things as well. And one of the old things is me, of course, but also that I slip into Japanese every once in a while, which I'm gonna do right now. Now, Saikin Nihongo wa yoku iritinai to omoe mas to desu mi mase, chotto gambari mas son Nihongo ireru koto o, ano Nihongo no jimako o onagai sare dan des kedo, Nihongo no jimako ireru no wa yappa muzukashi, son no shudo desa irenai to ikenai no de, ego no jimako wa jido de hairu no de, ego no jimako o susume shimas. So, what I just slipped into there was to say that、uh, for those who are watching in a second language, it's a good idea to put on the The subtitles down below in English,、uh, they are automatically put in by YouTube, which is great,、uh, but other language subtitles are not automatically put in, so I can't help people out there, and I apologize for that. But I do want to try and keep the two languages in the channel as much as possible. So that's one of the old things about the channel that I tried to do. I still try to slip into Japanese every once in a while, and like I said, one of the old things in the channel is me myself.、Uh, but some of the new things that are kicking off, as you can see, is my background is a little bit new. Now, if you've been a long term watcher of this channel, you'll have known that the first place I used to shoot videos. Videos was actually in the front room of my apartment,、uh, which had a different backdrop, of course. And then I moved into this back room here when my mum was in town,、uh, and I stayed here and kept shooting stuff against a white background, a white wall. But I didn't like that background because the lines on the wall kind of looked a bit funny in the camera. So now I'm shooting on the other side of that room. So we're still in the back room, but I'm shooting the other way, and that's a new thing for the channel. Let me know if you like this dark on one side and light on the other, especially with these screenshots up here. And the other thing that's new is that I'm standing up. I've done all All my videos so far, it's about 90 videos so far. I've done them all from a seating position, or pretty much all from a seating position. But I think standing up will give me a little bit more, I don't know, mobility and a little bit more、uh, ability to connect with the people watching at home. So let me know if you like the new digs, like the new angle with the background behind me here, and also if you like the standing up with me、uh, sort of engaging with the camera a bit more through standing. So I, I do feel it makes me a bit freer, a bit freer to move around. So let me know if those things、uh, work, or if they don't in the, the comments down below. It really Helps when I get feedback from you guys to tell me if this channel is the way it should be or if there's things I should change. I really appreciate when people hit me up with a comment, let me know if these things are working out. All right, let's get into this sneaker. It's that Adidas Core Black Carbon and White Crystal Night Runners. There's two of them. Now, I did say at the top of this video that I did a review of the Core Black. Adidas Night Jogger、uh, from earlier this year in early January, and it's actually quite a good video for me. It got quite a few views, and I was surprised at that. I do try and mix it up and get as many videos in there with Adidas and Nike as much as possible. I, I've had a couple of Vans videos, and、uh, I don't know if I've had any other brands. I've not had Reebok or I had Puma, uh, and uh, so I do try and mix it up. I don't want to just stick with the hype, but I wasn't expecting that Night Jogger Core Black video to do well, and it actually did well. And I'm kind of hopeful that this video will do well. 
well too. Uh, but this, uh, the, the black version that's dropping real soon is the Core Black Carbon, and it shouldn't be confused with that Core Black that dropped in early January. Now that Core Black that dropped in early January was actually an echo of the 70s when the original Night Jogger dropped, which was a white sneaker with orange three-stripe branding on the side. Now that Core Black in January, which echoed the 70s sneaker, was a very black sneaker, hence the name, but it did still have those flashes of orange, so it did have that connection to the Night Jogger from the 70s. These two that are dropping real soon, the Core Black Carbon and the White Crystal, or is it Crystal White? Doesn't really matter. Uh, they actually have dropped all pretense of being a connection to that 1970s sneaker. There's no orange on them whatsoever, and it's almost like it's a whole new sneaker and a whole new line for Adidas. So let's see how well it does compared to that Night Jogger from January and also that Night Joggers from the original OG stage back in the 1970s. Now, looking at these two sneakers and looking at them side by side, you could be forgiven for thinking they are very, very different sneakers and they really don't have much in common with each other. They do look like very different colorways of the same silhouette, but if you really look closely, you can actually find out that there are actually very few differences between the Core Black Carbon and the White Crystal. Now, let's look at that. Let's look at where those similarities come in. And we're going to start with the overlay around the toe box. Basically, it's a mesh sneaker with suede overlays on it. And it looks like two different sneakers, like I said, a black one, the gray one, or a white one. Uh, and the, the suede toe box overlays are actually the same color on both. And I think they're a gray suede, if I remember rightly. But then going further around the back of the sneaker, towards the back, you've got a very long heel counter. It starts almost in the midfoot and goes all the way around the back, of course, to the heel on both sides, lateral and medial sides, and, and, and all the way back to the heel. But again, the color of that is the same on both the black and the white sneakers. Uh, so there's a similarity in the toe box, similarity in the heel counter. Go up to the lacing system and there's a couple of suede patches around the lacing system, which again are the same color on both sneakers. Again, it's a surprise. So the toe box, heel counter, lacing system, very, very similar. And then the tongues themselves, very, very scaled back and low key tongues. I really like the tongues on these sneakers because they are scaled back and they're kind of very subtle to me, but they're both the same again on each of these sneakers, light gray, I think. Um, and so you've got the tongue, the lacing system in the most part, the toe box overlay and the heel counter, very, very similar on of these sneakers. So they're not very similar, actually. I'm wrong in saying that, identical. And it's interesting because looking at the two together, you'd think they were completely different sneakers. Now where they differ is on those mesh panels uh, and one is black and the other is white and they're very, very different. And that's where the striking upper gets this much big difference of sort of silhouette and colorway between the two sneakers. It's on that paneling and on those mesh parts in the upper where the difference is major. And I don't think there's much of a difference in any other part of the upper of the sneaker between the two. It's very, very similar toe box, heel counter, and the, the lacing system and the tongue, very similar between the two sneakers. So we've looked at the upper and where there are similarities between the two sneakers, if not identicalities, if I can create a word of my own, uh, between these two sneakers, even though one's black and one's white. Uh, and the final place where we look at for that similarity is in the 3M sort of uh, glow in the dark parts for want of a better word. This is the night jogger and it's designed for people to run at night time and give a bit of reflectiveness so that it's safe for them to run when they're running on the streets and cars come up from behind or in front and the lights hit that and it gives it that spark. Uh, and that 3M really helps to do that. It's great for safety and it's also great for look. So the 3M throughout both of these sneakers really helps the sneakers pop. But that's where the similarities end, where we start to see the differences as I I've said already was in that mesh upper where the mesh paneling on the two is completely different coloring but also in the three stripe branding on the midfoot is very different the opposite in colors there and then if we go down to the midsole that all boost midsole that runs from front to back on these night joggers one is blacked out all the way front to back a black midsole boost and the other one's not it's just your straight up normal midsole there with the the boost all the way front to back so they're very different in their midsole as well and then on the outsoles you've got differences as well, some similarities, some differences. There are a few panels on the outsole that are the same between these two sneakers, but there are a few places which are different. Uh, up the front, there are a couple of places where stripes actually round up the front of the outsole towards the uh, the upper, and it's quite an interesting feature. Um, but they are, there are some panels on the outsole which are the same color and some which are not. So there you have it. That's my review of the upcoming Adidas Night Jogger White Crystal and the 
core black carbons. There are many similarities and there are many differences between these two sneakers. As I said, the ones that dropped in early January did very well and we're wondering if these two follow-ups are going to do well. It'll be interesting to see, so keep an eye out and see how well these guys sell online and see if uh, this video picks up a lot of views, which will be a good indication of this uh, being a popular sneaker or not. With that being said, it's time for me to check off, but I do always at the end of my videos ask for people to subscribe. If you've watched all the way through to the end of the video, I appreciate it very much. View time is as important as view numbers, how often you view. So thank you for viewing and also hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on the coming reviews in the coming days, including that Vapor Fly 4%, I think it's called, uh, from Nike Tomorrow, which is the third of three Gaxo sneakers to drop uh, in that uh, series of Gaxo and Nike collaborations. Um, with that being said, it's time for me to check off and say thank you for checking in today. I will definitely be back tomorrow for another review. I hope I'll see you then as well. Uh, for now, it's time for me to say farewell and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for checking in today, guys. I really appreciate your being here and viewing my content. Over here, we have the channel subscribe button. Channel toro kuzihi onagaishimasu. Over here, we have the video I recommend you watch next, Kochira wa Osusumi des. And up here, we have a link to the channel introduction video, Kochira wa channel no profil no video des. Check them out, clicking on them really helps the channel.